Welcome back to another video. My name is Michael and I make weekly videos on sports science. In today's video, we're looking at how we can import data into Power BI, manage relationships between different workbooks, and create quick measures to create a correlation coefficient uh, using metrics between our workbooks. Normally, when we're working as a sports scientist, we're pulling data from different sources and different workbooks, and it's important to understand how we can create relationships between those workbooks to optimize our workflow as a sports scientist. So this is going to be a four-part video series. Our first video was on building dynamic images. Uh, today's video is going to be on managing relationships and using quick measures. Our next video will be on building the visualizations that we see in this dashboard here. And then our last uh, video is going to be over the statistical analysis of the data that we're working with today. So we have three sources of data that we're working with today. Our first is the Seahawks roster. So I've pulled uh, eight of the roster members from the Seattle Seahawks, uh, their name, their position, and their URL. And so that's one workbook here. The next workbook is going to be uh, internal metrics. So we're looking at RPE, sleep quality, sleep duration, fatigue, soreness, stress, and their readiness score. Um, and this is across the span of about a month, a little bit over a month worth of data, uh, all on internal metrics. And then our last workbook that we're working with is uh, the same thing. We're looking at those same eight athletes over the same uh, span of about a month. And this is gonna be similar that, uh, to the data that we would see when we're working with GPS data. Uh, so it's got our GPS uh, load, total distance, and then a bunch of metrics regarding uh, intensities, accelerations, decelerations, and uh, top speed. Uh, this is all dummy data that, that I created uh, in Excel. And these are the three uh, sources of data that we're working with for our Power BI dashboard. Importing data into Power BI is extremely easy. Uh, we're using uh, Excel, so we're gonna hit this Excel workbook and then we're selecting the document that we need. Um, once it pops up, we're gonna select the sheet that we need, make sure that the data is correct, and then we can hit load. Uh, so we're gonna do that with all three of the workbooks that we need, and then we'll go to the model view. So once we're in our model view, we need to create relationships between our workbooks to make sure that all of our visualizations are interactive. So all we have to do is click and drag the column name uh, from one workbook to the other, and that's how we're gonna create a, a relationship. So for our roster, we're gonna click and drag name, and we're gonna drop it over top of name under our internal workbook. So click and drag over top of name, and it's gonna create a relationship here, and it's gonna prompt us here. Um, if it doesn't prompt us, what we can do is we can hit uh, right click and hit properties, and then we wanna make sure that we have a many to many relationship because that way it's matching all of the internal to the roster. So we'll switch this from many to one to many to many and we'll hit okay here. And now we've created that relationship between our roster data frame and our internal metrics data frame. That way all of our visualizations will be interactive with each other. To create a correlation coefficient between two metrics that are on different workbooks, we're going to go to our data view and we're gonna select the quick measure tab. And under select a calculation, we're gonna to scroll towards the bottom and select correlation coefficient. For the category, uh, we're gonna use the date. Under our X metric, we are gonna select our RPE from our internal uh, workbook. And we're gonna change it from count of RPE to average. And then under our Y measure, it will be our GPS load under our external workbook. And same thing here, we're gonna switch it from count to average, and then we'll select add. And it's gonna create the DAX. Um, and this is gonna be the code that we're using to create our correlation coefficient between GPS load and RPE. In today's video, we looked at how we can import data into Power BI and manage relationships between different workbooks and use the quick measure tool to create a correlation coefficient between two metrics that are in different workbooks. 
In our next video, we're going to look at how we can create visualizations and best practices for sports scientists when creating those visualizations.